Welcome to channel A Make your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested about migrating to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the little bell aside so once we have all the updates and news, you'll be the first one getting all the insight. Now today's video is what the topic had actually said. I'm going to discuss uh, a news came out on the 8th of March. Well, today is three weeks after that. Why am I why am I discussing this three weeks after that news? Obviously, because I've seen some sign of change. So you probably have read the title. Uh, basically, it's talking about the Prime Minister Scott Morrison back in March uh, is looking not really not sure whether or not actually to increase the migration quota. Now, of course, he's going to say that because first he wanted to win those locals uh, who doesn't want the migration to increase. Uh, secondly, the elections is going to take place in late May. Now, the increase of financial quota is going to be the new financial year, which is going to be 1st of July. So if he lose the elections, obviously he has no right or authority to actually increase or decrease or let the migration quota stays the same. However, the the actual news and the media came out on this question has been. I have actually received a lot of comments and queries from uh, the YouTube fans and uh, Facebook as well. Uh, the question: How I had predicted and why I had predicted the increase. And although there has been so many news articles talking about and Business Council, uh, IT Council, you name it, everybody's talking about increase uh, the migration quota. Plus, there's a real skill shortage happening in Australia. Why not increase the migration quota? Anyway, let's have a look how this news article is actually about. And at the second half of this video, I'll actually provide a summarize uh, how I feel and my thoughts in regards to coming migration policy of Australia. Okay, so let's go in there to have a look at the actual news article. So this is actually published back in 8th of March, so about three weeks ago. It talks about, the, as the title says, migration cap could be assessed, reassessed, but not for a while yet. So it's a question mark. So uh, basically the Prime Minister Scott Morrison did not say yes or did, and also had the door open as it will require to be reassessed in order to increase. Now I'm pretty sure it will be increased. Why? Because the quota has been met and also we know there has been a shortage of skilled migrants and workers. So anyway, let's have a read. He says, amid calls of business group and leaders allowed surge of migration, migrants make up the last year pandemic and to then settle higher annual intake. Mr. Morrison told the Australian Financial Review Business Summit, uh, you just don't turn on the tap at all in a sudden. So 160,000 people turn up next week. Well, what he said is totally correct. Again, uh, we are in a political, uh, this is a political article because the election is coming up in two, two months. So obviously the message that the, the PN Scott Morrison wanted to deliver obviously uh, is somewhere he wanted to attract more uh, his voters. So they have, there are two types of voters. One obviously is the business group that they want more migrants and the other one probably is the one that they don't want migrant number to increase. However, the more had he attract the vote, obviously he win the election. So there is actual a mindset behind this when he actually answers these questions. So I'll take it will take time when it return tourism market and blah 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 inflow of people build up again. Well, that's again that that is a no say again. It's it's the same thing. Obviously, you need to have increase of flight to actually cater the increased number of migrants and that's basically what he's trying to say so he did not say no and he did not say yes but he does have the door open for increase as long as have reached the number so the question here is whether or not the 160,000 has been reached now 
I'm pretty sure he has because I'm const constantly contacting state and territory government in regards to the placement they require to issue. Now, what I'm going to take you to have a look is what's happening in Western Australia. So last week, Western Australia has actually came out with this news as additional nomination allocation Western Australia migration program. Now, what does that mean? Now, is it just Western Australia? No, it's 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 all the state and all the territories. So Western Australia has actually put their announcements now right up here. If you can see that there. Now, I'm, I have already clicked into that play page and it's actually here. So it reads on the 25th of March, Western Australia has received additional nomination allocation uh, for its state nominated migration program from the Department of Home Affairs. What does that mean? That means they reached the quarter. Remember, early this year, late last year, they have closed invitations. Now, same thing happening in Queensland and same thing happening in South Australia. Now, South Australia, a lot of people put their ROI or EOI in and they have been waiting for so long. Why? Because the quarter has been reached. So what does that really meant to us? That means the number required and num the quarter has been issued by the federal government has been reached. Now, if we go back to that news that Scott Morrison has said about he basically said let's have a look at the uh let's just find that word okay here we are at the top here okay it says australian annual migration cap could be reassessed but not until after current limit 160,000 is reached so what does that mean if we co if we come back to this news just came out last week from western Australia, that means it has been reached and it's as what i had predicted uh, the next round they release more quarter will be April. So again, this meets my expectations. As you see down here, to allow adequate time to process application prior end of the program, May and June invitation round are expected to move forward. So again, that is basically showing that the quarter has been met. And if it has been already been reached, obviously the increase of quarter migration quarter is requires so the annual intake has to increase now finally let me just add more to this uh, with some comments now remember last week i've got a video which also a news came out from the health minister grant hunt in regards to the abolish or ditching the uh, the pcr or the rat requirement before you boarding the flight now that is also a sign to increase the international traveler coming into australia now that is also indirectly or directly affecting the migration policy now the news that we have just read was back in 8th of march now since then there has been a lot of things been happening so obviously we are expecting more international travelers going to australia and that will also mean more quota more migrants going into australia and also bear in mind back in last year the budget the budget plan for 2021 and 22 and they have a, a foreseeable future expected to grow in the next five to ten years they were all the signs to advise the government to increase the migration annual intake quarter as well and also last month at least both parties had also coined the idea to increase the migration quarter in way to actually save the Australian economy due to two years of pandemic. Anyway, should you have more questions, query, more than welcome to leave a comment right down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.